Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Denny. So this is another story time in July catch up vlog for you guys. And this vlog is going to chronicle me and my family going to SEC Media Days for the felt like thousands a year. <laughs> it never gets old to us, honestly. Um, last year was held in Atlanta at the College Football Hall of Fame. But this year it was back in Hoover where it's been. Um, the rumors are next year it'll be back in Atlanta at the College Football Hall of Fame again. So obviously we'll be trying to go again. But this year was a lot of fun. I mean, it's fun every year, but you guys are really about to see how crazy things can be in the heat of SEC Media Days and in the heat of SEC Country, period. So um, at this time, we are looking at next week being the official kickoff to college football season. So I'm excited about all of that. But here is my footage from SEC Media Day vlogging. I hope you guys enjoy it. It's hilarious. There's a special guest that's in my video and he's funny. So yeah, just check it out. You guys will laugh. Morning lovely. So it is now Wednesday morning. I know we have had quite the time leap with this vlog, but I got in uh Saturday night after I came back from shopping and I was I was tired. And Sunday I started packing. I never recorded me starting packing because I was just packing and watching YouTube videos. But um, I'm completely packed except for one thing and that is shoes for the event. But hopefully I'll get some today. But this part of the vlog here is me and my family going to Birmingham for SEC Media Days. So this is just a family tradition that we have started over the past, mm, it's been a couple years. We started going in 2012. And we haven't missed a year. No, we've only missed one year since then. One or two years. Something like that. But anyway, it's the annual SEC meetings is when all the coaches talk. is when players come and get interviewed and such. And usually it's in Hoover. It's in Hoover, Birmingham. It's in Hoover, Birmingham, whatever. Again, this year. Last year was in Atlanta. You know, we went to the College Football Hall of Fame and it was fun. I wish they would have kept it there because there was more space and it wasn't claustrophobic. But hey, I am not on that board. I am not the commissioner. Anyway, so that is where we're getting ready to venture off to now. And yeah, I'll check in with you guys when we get up there. Okay, so we've made it to Hoover for SEC Media Days. The fam back up. We all good. Um... This is the earliest that we've gotten to Hoover in recent years because usually we be getting here a little after 10, 11, all that rigmarole. But, you know, we here after 9 now, so. They done put a Dave and Busters up here. They done moved Forever 21. I don't know where nothing is now. I just feel lost. My brother back there. Hey, CJ. He doesn't want to say hey for the, for the fam. No, okay. Anyway. Time to see Sabin and the Crimson Tide. Roll Tide. Can I just say that I love the River Chase Galleria because it's huge. It's bigger than every other mall in Montgomery, pretty much. So, Media Days is held in the Winfrey Hotel. So, which way do we go? Probably this way. But, we in here early. They don't open officially until 10, but since Media Days is going on, they opened up early. And yeah, who they got? Y'all got an Earthbound now. I love Earthbound. I don't know why that noise is going off. I mean, if it was a fire, they would be evacuating, but I think it's just because it's too early. But hey, I don't know. Y'all, I'm low-key such a child. I'm sitting up here, got excited because I see the carousel, and the carousel's not even open yet, but I make it my mission to go on a carousel before I leave. All right, guys, so we have, I don't know if you guys can hear me at all, but we have made it into the main room where the players and Coach Saban are going to walk through. Um, very harsh lighting. Um, we have no clue when Saban and the players are going to come through, but we're back here, so that's all that matters.
nobody doesn't like Alabama, okay? No one. So y'all, I ran to this guy who looks just like Blake Sims. Hey, Brandon. Brandon. So his name is Brandon. Brandon Sims. Now, do you know Blake Sims? I don't, but I've been trying to get his autograph for five years. Five, five, years. Yeah, five years. Five years. I've been trying for five years too, and I've struck out every time. Man, look. Every time. Look, I heard. I heard. He a good guy. Yeah. All you gotta do is walk on. Don't be scared. Yeah. Don't be scared. I heard he was you know. a really nice guy. You know. Tell him, tell, him, tell him he owed me money. All these autographs he doing and stuff, man. He, he gonna owed be me like, some money. Blake, you heard him. He likes it. Hey, he wants hey, Blake, money. Hey, Blake. Follow Brandon. Follow me at underscore B76. I wish I could play with you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Blake, what's your name? Blake. 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 Alright, so we're leaving now. We met Blake Sims, Jerry Judy, Dylan Moses, Tua and Saban. It's been a great day. It's been a great day. Wonderful day. But uh, now we're hungry. Legs are hurting. <laughs> also, that song in the background is Summertime in Paris by Jane Smith featuring Willow. So yeah, there's my footage from SEC Media Days. <laughs> Shout out to Blake Sims for being just such a great sport and just mingling with the fans and just sitting and having conversations with everyone because I mean he didn't have to but you know he did anyway um Blake Sims was one of me and my brother's favorite players when he was at Alabama at the time that he was and it was really cool just being able to just stand there and have a conversation with him you know it was a great experience overall it was actually funny because nobody saw it coming the first time he walked in he was, you know, all dressed all professional and stuff, and he was going upstairs to give interviews where the rest of the interviews were happening. And next thing we know, he's downstairs where all the rest of the fans are. He's dressed like a fan. He had on a Bo Scarborough jersey, and he was just mingling. And I know I felt somebody walk up near me, like behind me. And although there's a lot of people, I'm still like aware of when people are walking up on me. And so, before I can say anything, I heard him talking to my brother. He said, hey, y'all seen Blake Sims? And so I turned around, I'm like, I was like, you're Blake Sims. And he said, nah, where Blake at? And I just bust out laughing. I was like, okay, I'm gonna I'm roll with this. I, I see what you're doing. I see you. So the entire time he's just mingling with fans he's taking pictures he's autographing things and he's talking to me and my brother and it's just a really cool experience overall and it's something that made SEC Media Days this year very special for us so shout out to Blake hey um, it was awesome meeting you and you were really cool to hang out with but that is all for this story time in July vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And y'all heard Blake in the video. Go, go follow him on social media. Go follow him on Twitter and Instagram. You can find his links in um, the description. But that is all for this video. Hope you guys have a wonderful, blah, 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 wonderful rest of your day and a wonderful rest of your week until you see me again. Bye, lovely.